Red Rock Micro Eclipse for Robots. Precise control on your camera's focus, iris and zoom. Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinema 5D and welcome to our virtual show. Today I'm here with Brian from Red Rock Micro. How are you, Brian? I'm great, Johnny. How are you doing? I'm fine. And actually, I haven't seen you for quite some time. And maybe the only thing that has changed is you have a bit more white hair. What's going on? I know we're getting older. I mean, we've been doing this. We started the company in 2004. So it's 15 years of, uh, you know, production and all the stresses involved in that. And yeah, you get a little bit of, a little bit of white hair. I found a way to combat it. I just shave it. And then there is no white hair. Well, may maybe that's what I'll look like next time. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm not that far from it. Anyway, we are not here to talk about our aging look. Uh, we are here to talk about Eclipse for robots, is oh, that right? Thank goodness, yes. I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying this with a question mark because for me, robots are robots. Meaning I right. see them uh, manufacturing cars, I see them um, uh, in, in, in some, um, uh, tripod, at some tripod manufacturers, uh, factories and so on. But let's, let's start first of all with, uh, when you say it's Eclipse for robots, that means you have already uh, that product for, for other things, am I right? Right. So we have had for probably about five years now, the Eclipse system, uh, which is a set of cinema accessories, primarily around lens control. So focus, iris, zoom. Uh, we also announced and showed uh, Halo, which was a automated focus tracker. And now we've taken the system. And as you've described, we've uh, kind of engineered it now to work with these uh, industrial robots. Those robot stuff. Yeah. It's quite expensive. It's very heavy, obviously. Um, did I miss something? Did, did, is there a new generation of those robots that actually can be more uh, lightweight and more affordable and kind of moving into studios? Or how do you, where do you see the robots actually with the, with the device that you are producing? So Johnny, as you mentioned, these are industrial robots, right? Traditionally, these are the kind of robots that you see on manufacturing floors and in car assemblies where they pick up a door and they stick it on a car and there's some welding going on and then it moves on and it kind of repeats that over and over. These robot arms are fantastic. I mean, they do things that no camera operator could or frankly should do. I mean, just amazing types of shots. Really kind of started out in ad agencies and you see these in a lot of uh, phone commercials and things like that where the camera's zipping around. We got involved in this by talking to Autodesk. They and their Maya program have developed an open source product called uh, Mimic. And Mimic is essentially a graphic, a graphical way to create robotic movements that are much more geared towards creatives like you and me. And then you see a virtual representation on the screen of what's going on. So of course I'm thinking to myself, oh, I, I see what's going on. I understand how to move that arm around and, and kind of preview some of these things. And the thing that they came to us for was, of course, with cameras, how do you do lens control, focus, iris, and zoom? And that's kind of the basis of the foundation that we have for that partnership. Practically, what type of control are you offering? I mean, you said the focus, the iris, and zoom, but is it kind of more humanizing the whole thing? Movement-wise, of course, that's what I mean. Traditionally, robotic movements are very robotic. Um, it moves from point A to point B, and there's not a lot of organic feel to them. And one of the things that Autodesk did uh, with this, with Maya and with this Mimic plugin is have this ability to have timelines and keyframes, but also uh, Bezier curves, which you know are kind of easing in, easing out of these shots. And the result is you get these shots that are much more organic feeling. And if you didn't quite know what was going on, you would kind of think there might be a, an actual camera operator in there doing these things. But the problem, of course, is if once you get the, the, the camera moving and you want to sort of continue this organicness, focus and lens control becomes very important. So the thing that we uh, did with them that we are, in fact, going to announce at NAB this year is uh, the next version of Mimic that includes lens control that is now integrated in there using the Eclipse for robots as the foundation product. Please correct me if I'm wrong. There are other um, uh, focus iris zoom systems in the market. So, right. so just to the point, what is the unique uh, selling point of your system? 
Of course, ours is a fizz system, a focus iris zoom system, lens control. Of course, there's many other, Preston and others who are, are very well known. But for robots, it's a completely different requirement. Uh, now you're talking about having completely remote systems. It's all computer operated. And if you recall, when we first talk about a lot of our Eclipse systems, the underlying technology that the motors use to talk to the controllers, that use to talk to the computer, is the same type of technology used in your cars and in autonomous driving. So these are real-time network systems that aren't just, you know, I'm gonna move a focus knob and then the motor's gonna move. So when we were approached actually by the Lion King, um, this production that just happened a few years ago, they wanted to take these types of systems and actually record the production um, performance of the camera operators and those folks. And we started, it was very easy for us to do because our systems were designed for that. So with the clips for robots, we've taken our uh, Fizz system, our Focus Iris and Zoom system. We've added uh, a couple products. There's a thing called the Portal Hub, which is for powering all of this stuff remotely. You've got to run these cables, you know, 30, 40, 50 feet back to the computer. And we have the Portal Hub, uh, sorry, the Portal Solo, which is the USB integration allows you to, you know, programs like Autodesk and Maya to talk to uh, the, the lenses and the lens controllers and coordinate those robotic movements in real time. So what is the price for this type of focus iris zoom system control? Of course, it's uh, like any type of system. It really depends on the configuration. We have a really simple configuration that starts at about $1,500. Uh, and then, of course, it gets up to multiple motors, uh, multiple configurations, multiple a product run. So it could be, you know, several thousands of more dollars uh, associated with that. But again, we're talking about um, typically a robotic arm, things like that. These are pretty significant uh, investments. And so relative to that, it's a, it's a fairly small uh, price to pay for adding this capability into these robotic arms. Where can we get this system? I mean, your system? The focus so, iris zoom. Yeah, so we uh, there's a little bit of, uh, of uh, configuration help that we need because we have to understand what robot you're using and some other things. So it's all available on our website, redrockmicro.com, and we can give you all the information you need if you want to just drop us a line, take a look, or email us. Brian, thank you very much. As always, it's really a pleasure to talk to you. And I have to say it personally, for me, robots is not part of my expertise. I deal with people also when filming, yeah. So it was very interesting to, uh, to listen and hear. Of course, it's a bit of a longer uh, talk, but hey, every day you learn something new and today is the day that I learned something new. So thank you very much. It is my pleasure, Johnny. Thank you, Cinema 5D, you're doing a great job. We appreciate, I think us and your audience certainly appreciates that you guys stepped into the void here to give us kind of the virtual conversation that we all wanted. Thank you, Brian. And guys, thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.